Hey, thanks for joining the page and welcome to the Northern Nerdcast where we talk about everything in the world of nerd. Um, if you like what you see, make sure that you like and hit that subscribe button. And again, we just wanted to thank you for your support. We are on Facebook at the Northern Nerdcast as well as Discord as the Northern Nerdcast. So if you want to join those communities, just feel free and thanks again. So welcome back to another exciting episode of the Northern Nerdcast. I am Brad and joining me again is Clayton, Adam and Jay Parr from We Promise Nothing, Late Night Ticket. Clayton is there as well and Adam from Svenny McGee. Uh, we're going to pick up what from what we were talking about two weeks ago. Um, this time it's going to be uh, TV shows that are based off of video games. And right off the bat, just because I want to get this out of the way, Clayton, have you seen Dragon Ball Evolution yet? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you had until yesterday to watch it. it. You're not missing because anything. I, I no, no, I know. I'm sure that uh, <laughs> I must have been doing something better than that. I'm sure that <laughs> I was at work. Uh -huh. I was That's at not better. Laundry, and I'm sure that laundry, it was better than folding that. Folding your clothes, maybe, <laughs> doing so, so basically all Surely you need to know is it's, the things. it's an hour and a half of Goku just powering himself up. I'll, <laughs> that's, that's the TV show too, but I want to be honest, like it feels like when they take oh. uh, some, some, some mediums, like when they, when they take it out of its home um, format and move it around like Street Fighter, the movie or Dragon Ball or even Dead or Alive or anything Yui Ball ever made it doesn't work it just doesn't work you know? well i think that like just before we started here like 15 seconds ago like jay and i were just saying they just made that peanuts movie in the last five years and it's stayed true to source material they didn't try and like okay well now they're off on a space station like you know like they they kept it true to the actual characters and that was so surprising brown even though it's computer animated though it's still animated yes Yes, and they, and they still, and even then, they still, the, like, they kind of kept the character models. The, the mouths are still drawn. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they still kept, basically, like... Yeah, something... Um, and... Yeah, so <laughs> what you would see is, it's actually computer enemy, but their mouths are still drawn, their eyes are still drawn, even, like, uh, yeah. Charlie Brown's hair. That's how it, their uh, characteristics, I feel. Yes. Sometimes I feel like my hair is drawn on now, too. It's getting awful thin there. Yeah, I got, I have, I have I none left and I put on my hat. But, <laughs> all right, well, I'm Sven glad the only one with hair. Well, yeah. And it's going, it's gone so much recently that I'm trying to keep it down without uh, covering up my backdrop here. So let's, uh, we'll, we'll just jump right into it. Um, and like, again, before we came on, we were talking about how Clayton and I have no idea about this show. So, cause I, I like talking and, and, uh, obviously, um, Captain N let that, did that start the TV trend or was that kind of like a spin off of, uh, the equal, like the terrible super Mario brothers, super show with Captain Lou Albano. Okay. I'm not sure if it was the, I'm not yeah. sure if it was the leading one, but I know it was um, just even reading a bit on it today, like they it was kind of spun like, well, why don't we do this where we can just put someone into a game and then show it from their experience and go from there. And I guess whoever had that original idea, Nintendo liked it enough that they created a whole other show and didn't credit apparently the original person that came up with the idea and so they went with an animated format even then the idea was to have mother brain for metroid as the the character to be up against and uh yeah so that was just where they they got it going and tried to personalize it by jumping in and having uh, a human experience basically in there as opposed to the other ones where it's just you're watching what's happening in Hyrule or in Mushroom Kingdom, etc. So, yes, um, so go, sorry, go ahead. It came out uh, the same year as that Zelda cartoon and the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, right? So, I think it was like a trifecta of Nintendo cartoons, 
that they're trying to release at that time, I believe. Uh, Zelda didn't really get too many episodes from what I've seen. I think it was only no like 13. Movie. I think it was only 13. And mm. like it, it, it did, it, it oh. And that was probably so too many. So bad. Well, like all it was. me, Bradley. <laughs> I, I, that, that's another TV show. Um, <laughs> but, anyways, I, it was just, first of all, Link had what, like dark hair. He was arrogant. Like, I mean, Link never talked. So I guess this is the 80s version of what does this guy sound like? But it was all it was was this mishmash of crap. And all all Link mm. cared about was getting a kiss from Princess Zelda. He didn't care about anything else. The action so so well, yeah, wasn't I mean, the yeah. greatest. Um he 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 like Have you like seen Dragon Ball. Princess Zelda? What's that? <laughs> of course. Have you seen Princess Zelda? Oh yeah, I know. But um, like even <laughs> Ganon, just like he's supposed to be this like villain, not comical. Like even how Bowser was in uh, in the, the uh, Mario oh. Brothers three. But like Ganon was just comical no, to the point he reminded me of Skeletor from He Man. <laughs> like just the way he talks. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> up. <laughs> but oh, I, I, you next time. He <laughs> for the longest time i i really enjoyed zelda but as i got older like maybe it's maybe it's because i didn't and like like the tv show at all that i hate all of the things that have to do with zelda because i just picture it as link getting his getting his uh heart so that he can fire off his little sword blade and it's just oh it was just it was bad it was it was not a good show and they they took this badass protagonist who didn't say anything and they made him into this sniveling little like punk it's just it was happy 35th TV. anniversary zelda from the northern nerd guys yeah, that's, that's right <laughs> i'll drink to that <laughs> I, but i mean getting getting back to like because it intrigues me when I, it's a show that i've never seen like from from what you like what jay was mentioning before it was like there was at least two seasons and none of these other shows had more than a season and even even one season for zelda was too so, long let me let me break it down for you yeah, so go ahead. from what i know this is just from what i recall just from what i recall uh they did zelda and they did captain n and the super mario super show right so i think they were all half hours each one of those so they only two carried on which was mario and captain n so I have the second season went to Super Mario Brothers 3 and, um, and Captain N as like a Saturday morning thing, whereas before it was meant for like a weekday thing and there was a lot more episodes. Um, a lot more of the Super Mario Super Show, which is really terrible, by the way. And, uh, and then like the third season was like Super Mario World and Captain N. And by this time, they're, both the shows were down to a half hour segment together in the... Uh, from what I believe. Uh, so the first part was Mario World and the second part was Captain N. Yeah, and, and and you admit you were mentioning and see, I until two days ago or yesterday, I didn't even know that they made Super Mario World into a TV show. Ooh. And then you had mentioned mm -hmm. that there was cavemen and then you sent that link. Mm -hmm. I could not watch more than three minutes of that. Mama Luigi. Yeah, it's really, if you go on YouTube, you look up Mama Luigi, like, People used to make YouTube poop out of just like Luigi saying Mama Luigi for like like minutes straight. All or Yoshi saying Mama Luigi for minutes straight. Just because it's so annoying, right? And and it's like Yoshi doesn't talk. And they just they they picked like it's like the it's like video games like uh where they have that typical little kid that talks with a W in all of their words. That's what Yoshi sounded like. He talks. Yeah mommy like is oh man it's just it was That's so surprised. bad like I, I just and and they made luigi sound gangster <laughs> well and th that's some of the some of those same hey, trends hey. yeah some of those same trends and then same with that like they always were like everything was like uh that's a big meet the ball uh, like they they really you know went for it oh, this same... is the dinosaurs, Bobby, Luigi. <laughs> Mario. 
<laughs> but same thing with Captain N, though. Like, uh, Pitt was referred to as Kid Icarus in it, and he well, he Icus we... everything. Like, if he'd be like, like that was really great, Icus. Like, he always put that oh, in there, God. and and Mega Man was on there, and everything was Mega something to him too. Like, they they jumped yes. all over that. Like, you know, like Can unfortunately. We please... Can we please talk about that for a second? Like, what a grand mistake, and how annoying. How annoying. Like, Kid Icarus and, and Mega Man is like, oh, we're going over there a kiss. Oh, now we're doing this a kiss. And yes. then Mega Man, oh, this is mega cool. Oh, we're going to go in, get into a mega fight. Like, like what? what? Why do they <laughs> talk like this? This is why. Mega Man is supposed to be awesome. Why does he talk like a buffoon? Oh, this is, oh, mega cool, guys. Like, what the hell? Dr. Light's got some programming to do there. And Mother Brain. The Smurf verb. Let's talk about Mother Brain, too. Smurf. Like, what's with Mother Brain's voice? What? Who was, what is with Mother Brain's voice? Like, I, seriously. I have to look up, but like, who was the voice of Mother Brain? Wasn't it like one of the, like, it was the Supremes or the Temptations or something? It was, it was Jay's a notable. Jay, oh God, Jay has sick. everything right at his fingertips. Let me see here. Oh, pardon me. Levi Stubbs, who from the, is from the Four the Tops. Kind of, that yeah. sounds that sounds like somebody from an '80s music band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Levi Stubbs. <laughs> I, from, I picture this guy with a mullet. Actually, I picture this guy with a skullet. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, he's he's from the the Four Tops, which was a oh, know, Motown in the '60s and '70s. So. Motown. But, but he really went after like almost like a little Richard type of like squealy voice. Yeah, like, yeah. I couldn't figure that out. Like, why does Mother Brain sound like Little Richard? Like, yeah. And <laughs> so and again, weird. why do they even like if it's Mother Brain? Why did they yeah. cast a male? Like, I picture also, yeah. like hanging out at college parties, telling everybody about the time he met James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I, also I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it, and where it, the fuck it, is Samus? Yeah, apparently Samus was in all the accompanying uh, comic books, and yes, in the, I in the more stuff yes. that I have no. And in the know. comics, well, in comics actually. So that's something I want to kind of talk about. Uh, I think Captain N is a very missed opportunity. I think the idea behind it is awesome. Like they have like sound effects when things happen in the cartoon. They go to different video yeah. game uh, like places where they meet uh, Bayou Billy you know or Billy Buck whatever the fuck that one's called Bayou, you know, the like adventures of Bayou Billy yeah thank you there you go because apparently Konami really wanted to sell that game to them that's why I also had uh, Simon Belmont in the damn thing oh by the way some Belmont is a buffoon in this freaking cartoon he's Absolutely. always just trying to mack on the princess too and trying to make fun of Kevin but he's the one who sucks all the time but Simon Belmont should be awesome because he fights vampires but I digress <laughs> Um, but yeah, like really big miss opportunity in the Valiant comics. It was only Nintendo that was uh, sponsored by them, so they couldn't use uh, Simon Belmont or Mega Man. They used Kid Icarus, um, and they used Samus in place of Mega Man, which I actually found to be better. And if you read the comics, like they kind of took the stories a little more serious. It wasn't so so like you know, Saturday morning cartoon, you know, the way they have their characters. Yeah, those are something I I only found out in the last four or five years that they existed and from what i've seen oh, like you man. like you said they they did keep them uh, strong and i guess even because mother brain was the central baddie to keep samus in it kind of like you said besides streamlining it but it actually in the cartoon princess lana of video game land is kind of like the love interest there but in the comics they actually made kevin go towards samus and start to develop a relationship there yeah, there was a there was an interesting love triangle in the comics, which wasn't present in the cartoon. So it also made it more interesting because Samus really liked Kevin and he had a thing for Lana. Cool. Yeah, no, you, like you, you said, sorry, no, what? I was just going to say, I, I, the thing like Jay was saying, that the core of it is missed opportunity. I remember it mm. fondly with rose colored glasses, you know, as you do for a lot of those, <laughs> you know, previous 80s, 90s cartoons of our childhood. But it's it's not amazing i just love like 
you got the zapper, you've got the controller, like, you know what I mean? You're just looking at it like, imagine, like, you know, and then you get to play with and meet these characters and hang out with them. And you're familiar with all of them. Like it's, it's cool stuff to see, but there's so much like, again, buffoonery, just too much like mooking around. Like even when you're like a kid watching it, you're just like, you're not like slapping your knee, like, Oh, that's awesome. Like, it's just kind of like, if they made this in the early nineties though, like, they're still working on trying to figure out like video game stories, narratives in games at that time were like, oh, it's the good guy versus the bad guy. Yeah. To give yeah. these characters all their own dynamic, you know, like it seems to me like this cartoon would be more of a way to sell Nintendo games than the game selling the cartoon. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So you, you put these these characters into this cartoon that you want to see people buy the games and then you inject these characters into them and then you think that people would try to like carry those characters into the games when they are playing them but they don't know who the characters are the people making the cartoon maybe don't have the greatest access to the source material so they just make them all idiots and try to make them all funny yeah you know what i mean and and at that time too mm. you're talking about like a weekday or a saturday morning cartoon where who's watching it kids and they don't care they're chomping sugary cereal and they're watching these cartoons and it just makes them want to buy the buy more of the games play more of the games right so the people who created these characters more than likely didn't really have anything to do with them at the game level no oh, and I, did... I agree like that was one of the things even uh king hippo is one of the central kind of guys uh henchmen and to see him more fleshed out beyond just, you know, his pants falling down in uh, punch out, like here he was, like he's, you know, usually running schemes and, and getting foiled and stuff like that. But that's a guy you would expect to be like, he was portrayed kind of as he was in the thing, a little bit more of, uh, again, like a buffoon type of thing. But like Simon Belmont is running the show, like he's exactly. literally taking a cross and eviscerating like, like demons and stuff yeah so you know what i mean like i i i understand like they gotta pare it down to make it kid friendly and especially back then it's not like they took this and put it on netflix where you can give it a, a teen or an adult rating like back well, then it's, they, it's actually th funny that you mentioned that i'm sorry i'm just because i was gonna ask if they if because limited run made this amazing game called saturday morning rpg which to me like the how you guys have been describing this Captain N probably would have been a good like over overview RPG kind of thing, but um, mm. there I was, I'm just on Wikipedia reading while you were talking about that. I was listening, but uh, apparently <laughs> there's talks about a live action Captain N. Come uh, see, well, no. no way. So no way. Like you know what? 25 years later. I just, yeah. I think that'd be such a, like, I don't It'd be such a mountain to climb. Like, they missed, how are they you missed the opportunity this? because I'm I, again. I I heard about it growing up. I never mm -hmm. saw it, but I mean, how many kids? How many people watched it? I, I, I'm not saying this to sound like sarcastic or a dick, but was it a, was it popular? Like, would, would it would no. Nintendo slap no. their name again? Super Mario Brothers the movie, call mm -hmm. it Super Steve Brothers. You you could literally take this game or this, this TV show, call it J Parr and, and Adam and, and in the N universe and, and it's a movie. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm how board. many I'm people would go out to see this movie with their kids? Probably none. I um, And me, I don't know anything about the show. Like, I don't know if I'd go see it. No, I, I think, think it doesn't, it, it doesn't carry any star power. That's for sure. But I think we already I, got that don't... movie. It was called Ready Player One. <laughs> yeah. Basically, on it honestly, yeah. Like to do it, anything, yeah. Actually, you know what, Clayton? That's the the best example you could use is you're yeah. going to just make Bond. an underwhelming, uh, Ready Player yeah. One. Hey, Before don't don't Bond. don't shit on Tron. Tron, I actually enjoyed, and I I was listening to Tron Legacy while I was learning how to play the Cyberpunk game because I want to get into that. That whole... punk. <laughs> yeah, and they're no t they're not together anymore. But um. No, it's just it's 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 uh, it's it's great to get like at least two people's perspectives on this because, again, I knew I, I still know nothing about the show. Like I, I I'm sure it's, it, everything's on YouTube. Actually, you sent a link showing that it was the entire thing was available. Well, that was that was amazing. I haven't uh, seen like half 
to Nen in a while, and the whole it looks like almost the whole thing is there from what I could tell. So yeah, at least I, the first I don't know two why, seasons are solidly. When so. when I hear Captain N, for some reason I always think of Captain Planet. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's hot garbage that should never come back in any form. Yeah. <laughs> and that was an even worse video you, game too. You two are at drawn least, at least what, Captain Man. Captain Planet. Oh, I I just have nothing to contribute on. That. I that. I remember when that was on There's as a no kid. And, everyone talking at once. Yeah. No, sorry. I just I could not Good. watch that. Like I remember, like they summoned him and he'd come up from the ground, and I quite remember there was one where he came up and literally the bad guys just had a net there and he came yeah. right up into the net and they got him right away and that was it and it was just like all yeah. right yeah at least, uh, at least captain n at least they were only trying to sell you like nintendo shit like something cool that you already wanted they weren't trying to sell you some propaganda about <laughs> recycling or whatever <laughs> They were trying to sell you a Billy Ray Cyrus haircut. Let's <laughs> let's just let's all agree here that the worst power for for that show was the guy with the heart ring. Just terrible. I don't know. I don't even remember that much about it. No, but that for, I, that I remember. Suck? Yeah. Oh yeah. That like kid power sucked. Ring. Could you imagine being that kid? I was like, fire, wind, earth, water. Fire. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could laugh with but your in heart, really? Really? Yeah. You laugh, but in 2021, he would be. I'm going to beat you with my feelings. <laughs> like, yeah, I, Clay, Clayton's right, though. Tw with, because, because 2021, I, well, I, 2015 is where it all went downhill, where words hurt and all that stuff. So this guy would be like the ultimate power right about now. <laughs> I, I told you bitches but so get going back to the whole nintendo thing let's let's move on like we we've we've we can still talk about zelda and stuff because there's always stuff to to talk about with that but um are you the greatest the greatest rap introduction with two of the whitest people i have oh. ever seen in my life dancing to this captain rap video captain lou albano and the guy that played Luigi is actually Canadian. I did not know that. Nice. Um, but there now, I don't know if you guys saw this, this little clip on YouTube, but I thought it was hilarious where Luigi picks a piece of spaghetti off Mario and Mario swears at him. Have you seen this video? <laughs> no. Like it, no. it's, it's just so like they do the stupid sound effects. Like I, I can't even do it. Cause I'll start laughing, but like, he picks off the he's like oh you got a piece of spaghetti and then the music kind of plays and mario goes oh well, fuck you and and it's like holy crap you have a little piece of spaghetti on your overalls <laughs> you, Luigi. You... you have to really listen to it but it's just i found it really funny and i mean captain lou albano let's let's just be honest like it's just uh, ron jeremy could play mario better than him <sighs> Sergeant Slaughter guests an episode as well is awesome. Yeah, does. I remember that, but it was just like they. I I guess they figured that they. Wait, did Super Show come out before or after the Super Steve Brothers? It came out before. That okay. was the first live action version of Mario and Luigi on like American television. Okay, so it's not it's not like Mario Brothers came out first, and then they're like. Well, at least we can't be as no. bad as them because no. it, it was pretty no. bad. <laughs> but uh, no, it was just... No, the TV show came first. Yeah, yeah. and, and All I those mean, cartoons were before the movie. Yeah, that's that's Well, I remember Zelda was 89-90, I think, or 90-91, I think. But, like, it was just... I don't know. There's... Well, I think I'm, uh, I'm looking at the the box here shows oh. Deke for eighty nine. Eighty nine, okay, and then yeah. and then that was and then Deke was bought out by Cookie Jar, which is Canadian, which is uh, there's a lot of Canadian uh, um, roots with a lot of this stuff. So it's just I, I think it's it's pretty cool that uh, Canada's repping in all these terrible cartoon video game shows. <laughs> 
But well, I mean, like, I just found out that the Game Genie on the original NES more. was actually a Canadian invention. Oh yeah, see again, not I didn't know. Well, I like... mean, if you look at the cast, yeah, eighty nine and ninety one for Captain N. And also, if you look at the the X Men uh, voice cast, a lot of them are Canadian. Like the old uh, the old nineties X Men cartoon, a lot of those are voice yeah, actors are Canadian. Yeah, X Men cartoon, yeah. Mm-hmm. The best one. Yeah. That's a. If I'm talking about the X Men cartoon, you can only assume that's the one I'm talking about. Because why would I watch another one? <laughs> one matters. Not not like these these new TV shows that are all out with like. Have you seen the new Ninja Turtles? Oh, I tried not to. I pretend I saw it, and then I looked away and pretended I didn't see it. It's the new the new movies. You mean no, the new TV. Well, they're show. bad too, but <laughs> no, the new cartoon series is really bad too. No, never saw it. It's uh, yeah, it's I, I watched one episode and it was just like nothing to do, it, it, no redeeming qualities. But actually, get it, going back to how Ganon uh, from Zelda was like this weird character. You know who would have played a really good Ganon is Uncle Phil. Oh, he did. He yeah. killed it as Shredder. Yeah, that guy was awesome. Yeah, James mm-hmm. Avery. Yeah, James That's Avery. Right. James yeah. Avery. Uncle Amazing Phil. actor. I love him. Did yeah. He would have done a Uncle good Phil, Ganon. Did Shredder. What's that? You think he would have done what? a good Ganon? I think so. Well, because... he did a good Shredder. Yeah, he did. Well, voice wise, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he had a good uh, deep raspy. Yeah. Hmm. Do you do you think that do you think that Zelda would be good as a live action or like if if they were to do like a Game of Thrones style like gore like nonstop? Mm. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't think they'd have to. Game of Thrones, not Game of Thrones style. You want more like a Lord of the Rings where you can still kids can come see it. Yeah. So yeah. heavy on the CG and don't skimp on Ganon. Make him badass. He's got to like be really threatening. I gotta be scared. I gotta poop a little. Was was Ganon like? Because there's been all these different versions, but w- I don't ever remember Ganon resembling a pig, except for the TV show. No, no, yeah, in the old, in the old, old, the old like, NES games, yeah, yeah, the 16-bit uh, the Link to the Past, pig. Link to the Past, Final Boss, Ganon looked like a resembled a pig, and then huh. in Breath of the Wild, also too, the final, the final form of Ganon is the the giant hog there but he but he was his most know. menacing like if you ask me he was his most menacing in um ocarina of time yeah it's the human ganondorf. yeah i was gonna say isn't that the distinction is ganon and ganondorf that's the yeah. two one is the pig form and one oh, is the human see, form okay. see yeah, that shows how much i know about this uh, about zelda yeah <laughs> no like you said that, really that was the original zelda either but oh man i knew that <sighs> Yeah, Ganondorf is the the one from the one with the big nose there in Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. But they always show yes, him human form, I guess. That's how you want to imposing, eh? Yeah. Hmm. He's threatening, scary. I He's think they could pull it off. I think if they did live action, I think they could pull it off again. Uh, I think, like Jay was saying, go Lord of the Rings. If he's fighting a lot of monsters, skeletons, uh, like orcs, things like that, you know. It, when it's kind of like a human attacking monsters, that seems to be more palatable for parents as opposed to just like slashing another man in half, you know? So it, 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 right. if they do that, it's got to be more about the journey than it is just about like the fighting of the, the people, like uh, the dark crystal. Yes. It's more about um, um, the journey across Thra than it is about the enemies that he meets along the way. Right. And then Ganondorf is the scourge of the land that, you know he's got to he's got to take out, but he gains the tools that he needs as he does it as he takes the journey. It's all about the adventure. I completely like, agree with that. I think that's why it has to be a Netflix show, though, yeah. which yeah. they were planning yeah. on. But I like again to try and condense that into an hour and a half or something for yeah. cinema. Is, that would hurt it for sure. Yeah, well, I remember could. when they came out with like the IGN did their little uh, April Fool's thing a couple of years ago where they had a they they did like a cartoon thing and or a, a live action and everyone thought it was real and like they shit all over Bastards. it because it was like this fake blonde wig he kind of he kind of looked like Dolph Lundgren in drag 
and then it turned out it was a joke so a lot of people were happy and but then when we like when we were talking a couple weeks ago that Netflix was planning on doing a Star Fox and a Zelda and then they were both canceled for what I heard was because that they were they like Nintendo wanted to try and keep it a secret until for as long as they can with the internet there's no such thing as a secret unfortunately no, no. there's there's always somebody who's gonna spoil it like I, that's why like big movies like Avengers and stuff I try and avoid uh, online and it's impossible yeah so yeah. Friday uh, Mandal- Mandalorian or WandaVisions have been uh, stressful trying to get home and uh, watch it without a spoiler. That's, think... that's why at Friday morning I wake up and watch it before I go anything else. So, yep. You're, you're that's what I do. inside my bed and all day long. I'm tuning everybody out. And I, I see like kind of getting off topic here, but with, with Sony's uh, state of play, I kind of, I, I kind of ruined it for my friend when when they announced all the new Final Fantasy stuff. <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't very happy. So Elliot, I'm sorry because I know he watches this. So, but yeah, no, it's just internet just ruins everything for for anybody who doesn't want something spoiled. And yeah, true. Like back like back in the day, if something was terrible, the only way we know about it is by watching it and, or not watching it. In my case, with like, well, I mean, again, Captain N sounds like it had lots of promise, and I like it's like Clayton touched on, um, like even even maybe late '90s, like because there was just there was so much shows from '89 to '94 that it, it almost sounds like it got lost in the mix or or. Uh, it, w- it like it could have been a good product placement show. Hey, buy this game, so we're gonna have so and so in the game. So it's, yeah. I mean, we had the wizard, right? Let's not yeah. talk about the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I Let's would have definitely would have liked to see them do more of it. It's, it I, I mean, yeah, like yeah. Again. You you just previously you watched it recently? No, no, I just watched it again not that long ago because I think we did it on the show there and. Uh... It's really not that bad. I mean, it's not good, but I mean, you know, it was never, I never thought it was good, but I mean, it did introduce the world to Super Mario Brothers. California. California. No, that kid says California way too damn much. Yeah. Yeah, but it had some star power and it had, you know, it had a heartwarming story. It's the best part of the movie. Who was in that movie besides uh, Fred? When Savage? I was a kid, I shit my pants when Mario Brothers Three was unveiled. Yeah, and my 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 singer, Fred Savage, and uh, who was the other one? Not Fred Bo Savage Rose. and I, others. Ja- yeah, and others. <laughs> was Christian Jeff Slater in that? Oh yeah, Christian yeah, Slater. That's true. Fun. Yeah, I lied. Fun. Not others. Christian Slater was in it. Yeah, Fred hey. Savage, Christian Slater, and others. We're and Nintendo, take, Mario. Hey. That's what really matters. That's the real star. We're going to take a quick break because I'm about to get. Alrighty. So everyone has done what they needed to do. Uh, Clayton had to leave for a little bit. Uh, probably won't be back, but it's all good. So we kind of talked about everything else, um, but we didn't really flesh out. Like uh, Adam said, um, Mario brothers three. Uh, we didn't really get into super Mario world. So, I'll let you guys pick which one you want to talk about first. Well, let's do it chronologically. I mean, after the Super Mario Super Show, which is god awful because uh, it was based off of Mario 1 and Mario 2, but they didn't even really base it off those games. They just kind of like, like, oh, this week we're in Cowboy Land and it's Sheriff Koopa, and this week we're in Pirate Land and it's yeah. Blackbeard Koopa. Like, what the heck is this <laughs> shit? And at least Mario 3, they went to the Mushroom Kingdom and there was like a bunch of toads and like they did that. So at least this is what I liked about Mario 3 and Mario World. At least it was actually based off the games. And you can see if you watch the episodes, you can see them running through like levels, so to speak. And these bad guys are chasing them. Uh, and well, you're hearing like Nintendo and Super Nintendo sound effects. So I really appreciated as cheesy as they were. I appreciated the Mario Brothers 3 and Mario world cartoons uh, over the the very awful super mario brothers super show well i and the the thing that really stood out to me the most about mario brothers 3 was 
it wasn't so much about Bowser. Like, yeah, he was in it, but it was his kids. And like, it was just, it was almost like every episode he was like parenting them. It was never, like, it was always like not kidnapping princess. Well, I mean, that happened, but it was, well, how much mischief can kids get into? And like, it's, it's like watching him as a dad. It was kind of weird. <laughs> So. And they didn't call him Bowser, they called him King Koopa. And that was yeah, like, yeah, that's right. That was from Mario Brothers Super Show, and that carried over into Mario 3 and Mario World. He didn't have the red hair, he had a crown. He yeah, wasn't right. Dennis Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> right. But no, like, it was how it only got one season, if I'm not mistaken. And how many episodes was it? I like, I, I owned it, but again, I just I couldn't watch it. So they all technically only had one season, like Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers Super Show, Mario Brothers 3, and Mario World. It, but you could say like the Mario Brothers cartoon had three seasons altogether, and that's what they all were with those three seasons of cartoons. But uh, yeah, they all had one season each, uh, all, you know, just differently titled. That's all. But they're all essentially the same thing, like the same animator, same voices. Hmm. It's kind of like the, and, uh, yeah. Just Sorry, I was going to say, it's kind of like the Justice League cartoons. They had like two seasons, then they flipped it to Justice League Unlimited, where they blew up the roster and went three seasons there. So some people say two and three, but I've always considered it five because it's the same voice. It's same continuity. Right. Same everything there. So I agree with that. And then, so... Ventures of Batman and Robin. It used to be just the Batman and the animated series, then they turned into Ventures of Batman and Robin. It's the same damn show. That's right. That's right. 100%. So where where did these cavemen come from in in Mario World? Like, <laughs> I don't. Again, I it's another show that I've never I I didn't know existed. And then when I saw the introduction and you see all these cavemen, like I get it's Dinosaur World or whatever, but yeah, that know. always annoyed me. They took the place of the uh, like the toads of like the the mushroom people. And they're just kind of like, yeah, there was, I don't know why. There was an abundance that came in for no reason whatsoever. Didn't need them. Don't know why they're there. Just just to have more annoying characters, I guess. This was in Mario World? Yes, yeah. Mario World, yes. Well, do you think yeah. it was maybe be just because they were playing off the Yoshi dinosaur angle that they decided to, yeah. like, was that it? That's what it was. They are playing off the dinosaur thing because they, they say right at the beginning of the intro that they're that – they, that they're they, no longer in Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, they, and now they in took dinosaur. a vacation to Dinosaur World. Right. Uh, and then somehow, uh, and then they said uh, King Koopa wasn't able to follow us. And then all of a sudden he's there because he found like some wormhole or something. <laughs> Why? Why take the time to even make that sentence and then just completely blow it up? Like They just want to say like, hey, it's different this year, guys. We're in dinosaur land. It, it's cooler because there's dinosaurs around. You like dinosaurs, right, kids? Yeah, of course you 90s. do. Here you go. Here's some dinosaurs. Well, dinosaurs, 90s, right? that, yeah, 90s, exactly. Jurassic Park, all that stuff. So it's like capitalize on the dinosaurs and cavemen. Apparently cavemen is popular, but um, yeah, it's just like that, that. You sent me that one episode where Luigi's like, Oh, I fell for hours, and then he's, and then uh, Yoshi's like, "Oh, you fell for hours." He's like, "Well, it felt like hours." <laughs> like, oh <my> God. <laughs> Who writes this stuff? <laughs> and then, and Mama then like, Luigi. <laughs> and then he somehow lands perfectly on a lava boat that, for reasons unknown to us, never disintegrated in hot lava. And Luigi, Luigi, a normal That's person would game. melt. No, I know, That's but you would game. die if you touched that. But it's from the game, though. He was going through a level in the game. That's what was great about it. I'd, I'd have to go back and play that because I, I just, I don't know. I, it just, it feels like they, they just use it as a cash cow. Yeah. See, Yoshi doesn't look anything like that. And, and Mario is a lot skinnier there. And they made him look like this fat little plumber. <laughs> he is a little bit shorter in the cartoon. I noticed that. And it, it makes me like, the the maybe it was just that episode but it made it almost seem like luigi was the center character oh just in that episode mario that was just a, a luigi centric episode that's all hmm. so and then so you you'd mentioned before getting back to captain n like they did all these crossovers with with zelda and stuff and 
Like mm, that was a good one. I like that one. Yeah, but yeah. I mean one one good episode like for an entirety an entirely stupid entire season of like probably the worst cartoon I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I wouldn't say it's the worst cartoon. Like I said, the, it had a good concept. So I was always like excited to see what they could do with it, but they, you know, they never really fulfilled it so much. Like I remember one, they went through like Mega Man levels and they died. They had to keep going back to the beginning and he died and they had to go back again. I thought that was good. I like that. Like out of a video game cartoon, that's the kind of thing I want to see. They're in a video game land. So of course, if they die, they got to go back to the beginning and start over again. So that I really liked. Uh, I, and, uh, you know, there was another one, like you said, where they crossed over with Zelda. I thought that was uh, Zelda and Link. I thought that was very good, too, because it would have showed the potential of them crossing over these cool characters. Um, they try to do like a Bayou Billy thing with who the, who the hell cares about Bayou Billy, right? And uh, I don't know, like, it'd be great if they didn't dumb down like the characters that they had, like Mega Man and Simon Belmont, like let's go to the mega mall or let's I guess, order some mega fries. I got to take a big mega crap, Kevin. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Like they, they, it's, it sounds like they could have done so much and they just, for whatever reason, reasons, I guess they just didn't. And I mean, well, like Zelda like could have done so much more too. Yeah. I mean, even today, like just the idea that Nintendo Again, because it was Nintendo at the time, right? But, like, to get Konami, Capcom, like, all these other properties on board and use their characters, which I kind of saw, I didn't get to the actual video, but I saw someone else's just, like, the description of it um, going in, and it basically said, like, oh, who would have thought it would have been such a licensing nightmare to make toys from this show with all these other (laughs) players, which is probably why we never saw anything come out of there, right? But... uh, yeah, again, a lot of missed opportunities with there. The the one thing about the uh, Legend of Zelda one, it seems to be take place after, like in canon seemingly, after the Legend of Zelda initial run because they've said they've defeated Ganon. Um, you know, if there's peace in Hyrule, but now there's kind of a disturbance, he might be coming back. We should reach out to Captain N and his team and bring them on board. And that's kind of the run, the way it goes. But, I totally uh, thought you were going to see Captain Plants. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop the net on him. Yeah. You know what? Forget, forget Captain N. We need Captain Planet on this one. That's right. That's right. This Triforce has got nothing on heart. So, right. No, 2021, man. 2021. Heart That's would right. be the power to have. That's right. But but like I said, just it, it was neat to see. And even then, they said like it was the same voices. Link didn't kind of have the same smarm. He was still, you know, a little bit arrogant and stuff. But he had developed as a character, and he even kind of looked like more squared. Like it, he just looked older. And he wasn't after the princess's kisses, although she gives both him and Kevin one at the end of the episode. And yeah, like together, it, it seemed like it was like like jay said like a great potential of what they can do even i watched the pilot earlier today and they go through a portal and they fall down they end up on a giant bar of soap but when they look up donkey Donkey kong is king kong sized and he's they're in his bathtub and then kong donkey kong is chasing them through because they're in congo land or something but uh yeah like donkey kong was a full-time you know minor every almost every week yeah, they should. And, they have Donkey Kong all on all the time, and every once in a while they had Doctor Wily as yep. well. I remember they had him once in a while. Yep. Yeah, like again, a lot of great potential, mashing up a lot of villains and heroes and stuff. And you, you're like, with that, you could obviously flip the roster pretty wide open. So, but, uh, here's my idea. So now, if they redo this, they should just make it Super Smash Bros. But yeah. Captain N's a part of it. I'm Honestly, actually surprised right? now, now, like the, the more I hear about this I'm, and uh, again, maybe it's licensing or Nintendo just didn't figure it was worth it. But like, why isn't he in a Smash Brothers game? Like Christ, they've run mm-hmm. Cloud and Sephiroth. Maybe well, they I, don't why? actually own Captain N. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe, maybe it's only if, Duke or something. But, but if it's all about, well, and, and that company is no longer in business. But I mean, if it's, Nintendo, if Nintendo believes in something, they'll back it. And I mean, obviously they believed in this show enough 
to at least bankroll or whatever they did for three seasons of Captain N. Like they, they must have seen something in this guy or the company had like a, a, an agreement for three years and then they folded. So it's like, it's one of those things in limbo. I don't know. But I mean, Captain N would probably be a good character on Smash. Yeah, yeah, no, I, for sure. I, he'd have the zapper. He'd be able to have the D-pad, so he goes super fast. He'd be an awesome character. Yeah, so. yeah, it's super jump with the. Uh, he'd hit the B button and do an extra jump. He could even right. pause everything around him when he'd hit the start button. Ultimate cheap move. Yeah. Like, like, why do you use that like all the time? Yeah, hundred percent. Like, oh, Mother Brain is planning something. Oh, really? Let me just pause everything. Go right over there kick her in her face and then come back that'll stop her and then i'll unpause it <laughs> it, it seems like it i was i saw something a couple probably at least two years ago where they were rumoring that they were going to do that make captain n a, a playable character and again it's one of those things licensing may be an issue if they could actually get their mitts on the captain n show and they were going to actually re-release it as a Blu-ray or something, that would probably be the time to do it, to actually leverage it for something. Because if they go put Captain N out, there's going to be so much, probably backlash from a lot of the Smash communities. Say, like, there's going to be kids in their 20s and stuff saying, like, who? What? Like, you know, like, who is this guy? Like, I, I don't want this guy. I wanted another, you know. Probably not another sword fighter. That seems to be the biggest complaint. But uh, you know, like I said, like there's there's probably not enough swords fandom. Are awesome, yeah, the swords are swords great. Swords are so badass, though. I mean, come on. No, I know. It just seems it seems to be the complaint in the Smash community, is just that there's consistently just another mm-hmm. sword fighter, another sword fighter. Everyone from Fire Emblem. Now they just announced two characters from the uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, yeah. So you know, just it's. Seems mm, to be that, okay. that, that complaint. So apparently, like just reading this, this would make more sense if, if this is the reason why, but um, Haim Saban is involved with Captain N. That's the Power Ranger guy. So yeah. I could see mm. that being the reason why, because like he's got his own essential fighting game with Power Rangers off the grid and all this stuff. So like maybe he just doesn't want anything to do with Nintendo. Who knows? It's just, it's, it's, I guess, too bad for people that enjoyed that show. But I was actually just reading, and now, now once we're done this, I'm going to go and try and YouTube it. But he went, in a, he went in the original Final Fantasy world, and I did not know that. So I'm going to go and find that episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, did he? I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah, it's, it's so, like, I'm just, I'm reading off the list of games that appeared uh, in the show itself. It must have been like a short episode. I barely remember that. I think I would I think I would remember that, but maybe I don't. Um, like, you, like you said, it might have been one of those ones where they just went through quick, because like the Bayou Billy, yeah, I think, was like a core. Like a that lot. was like the name of the episode, like so, down in the so Bayou the, or something. The worlds like, that he went to was Adventures of Bayou Billy, Bo Jackson's Baseball, <laughs> Burger Time, California Games, Castlevania mm-hmm. 1, 2, 3, Donkey Kong and, and Junior, Dragon Warrior, Faxanadu, Final Fantasy, Jordan versus Bird. This is the setting for Hoop World. Kid Icarus, Marble Madness, Mega Man 1, 2, 3, Metroid, Nemesis, Punch Out, Paperboy, Robin Hood, Super Mario Brothers 1 and 2, Tetris, Wards and Wizards, and Zelda. Hmm. So. It seems like more than I remember. I, I kind of feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like, like you said, they just kind of just ran through some of those and some episodes. Oh, let's take a shortcut through Final Fantasy world. And then you see like a wizard and someone battling in the background. Oh, who's that? Oh, don't mind them. We're on a cool <laughs> adventure. No, 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 no. Seriously. I want to know what they're doing. Like, can yeah. we just stop for a second? Yeah. Oh, and and really, like you said, like the pilot was that. Like they're like, we got to go get Princess Lana because she got taken. So they jump through a portal and they're in Donkey Kong Land. Then they jump through a portal and they're in another spot. And like, it just it's a lot of bouncing just to show like, look what we can do. Look what we can do. You know. Mm-hmm. It's the, so the episode. The episode that Final Fantasy uh, is in is called Captain N, Season Three, Episode Seven: The Fractured Fantasy oh. of Captain N. No wonder I don't remember it. Season three. 
<laughs> no one was watching that crap by then. Like we were all tired of it by the first season. <laughs> I think when Game Boy came on, I mean, even as a kid, I think it was it was just like, oh, neat, because, you know, we, we just started seeing those and stuff. And then I think it was pretty quick that even then it was kind of like, <laughs> it's the last episode. What's, what's Jump the Sharp mean? Like, you know. No wonder it's the last episode. No wonder I've never seen this one. Mm. <laughs> oh, so Cap- Captain N only lasted seven episodes in season three? I think so. Seems that way. So they went out literally with a Final Fantasy. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, not really, but I'm, I'm, I'm drinking pee, not coffee. So I'm, I'm on my off game today. But It's got like, yeah, people don't like that episode apparently. Well, I'm gonna go watch it and then and then never watch another episode again. <laughs> just base everything, just like Legend of Zelda, just done. So tell me one I, thing though, like sorry, but like what is it that you really didn't like? Because when I watch Legend of Zelda, like I know there's a lot of sparminess and stuff like that, but there's still there's a lot of core characters there, a lot of villains staying within Hyrule. They're still focusing on the Triforce. Ganon's there, or is it Ganondorf? But they're like everything's still there. And, you know, you have Link, even though he's kind of just cracking wise and stuff, he's a good fighter, though. He's not Simon Belmont. He's not just, like, buffoonery, like, cracks his whip and then trips over something and falls in the mud and whatever. Like, he's actually a good at what he does and stuff like that. Like, what I, is it, for, what is it that you didn't like? like, I, I did, like, so I, I was able to, like, I watched it on, like, VHS and stuff not, not long after it had stopped. Um, but like, as I got older, it's just like, it, it's just, it, it's more of the, the voicing. And I mean, like if, if they had like, not necessarily like a butch sounding link because like links, not butch. Um, but I mean, if they had somebody else who just didn't sound like that, like I would, I would rather have Steve-O voice link. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like just just like that but i just i didn't like i just i didn't like the voices like it just that's not how like i pictured them sounding and maybe that's like for me that's what just put it off like it's like you said like yeah there's there's good action and 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 stuff and for for the time it came out it was really good uh, animation and stuff but like it's it's just like for video games with me if if a voice if if there's characters that sound the way that they sound in games like i'll either play the game on mute or i'll change it to the japanese settings just to get rid of it um unfortunately there's not a language setting to to change that to i I, even even like uh japanese voice cast of zelda i would watch that in a heartbeat because it's just they sound so serious so it's just like i don't know and and like I just, it, it, I just found that it was way too corny for a lot of the stuff. Again, that's what the eighties and like the nineties were was it was pure corn. Like even, oh, yeah. even like watching, watching Lou Albano dance to a rap song. Like yeah. he's like, do the Mario. And then, he, yeah. and then he starts um, spinning around. Fun. So it's just, <laughs> I mean, Lou Albano was a good wrestler. Yeah, we got stuck in your head, right? It works. Yeah. Got stuck in your head, though. It 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 absolutely did. Like, and and it was a very, that for for the Super Super Mario Brothers Super Show, it was a very catchy song because it's like, you knew it was coming on the second you heard, hey, Paisanos, it's like, oh, it's Mario. Sit down, shut up, watch the show. (laughs) And then, and then after the rap was done, it just got dumb. it was so bad you just couldn't look away. It's like a car wreck, right? You just like have to keep looking. You're just like, this is so awful, but I can't stop watching it. And it's like the reason why I used to watch Power Rangers. You're like, this is this is so bad. Like, how bad can it get? I need to know how bad can this get. Well, for me, like the Mario stuff, like you know, God rest his dear soul. I I could not get past the live action stuff. It was Lou Albano's 
like it was the Mario Luigi's like yak and like look at this mm-hmm. and like pulling something weird out of the pipes. Like I <laughs> that was enough for me to like yes. watch the show. Like they I got chased by a hairball. That was such a <laughs> terrible episode. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like I, I could not watch the cart like if I turned it on and the cartoon wasn't on, I was just like, I'm not waiting. Like I, I'm moving on, you know, like I, I got something else to watch here. Um, the Legend of Zelda stuff I didn't see till much later, like basically like more as an adult. And even then, of course, like, like, you know, you, you take kind of the stuff with it, but I felt that was just a little bit more palatable. Like Mario is like, I don't know, fun to a degree, but like, you know, just, balling each other up like a bowling ball and rolling it like none of that took place like it's just it's cartoon madness and like legend zelda like he's literally fighting skeletons and like when he you know his sword he powers it up and zaps them and stuff like i thought that stuff all kind of rang true a little bit more again i know like you said and it's it's a totally valid point um that you know the voicing and stuff was there but i thought it was uh I could I could tolerate a, a lot more than I could watching the Mario show, plain and simple for <laughs> myself anyway. Yeah. At least at this point in my life. Well, the live action was the worst part of that whole show, and that was the same with me. I, like, go and do something else, and then and then hope that after that god awful like skit was done, that something good would be on. Right. <laughs> yeah. So just... Like you totally watched it for the cartoon because you're hoping they're gonna do something cool that was in maybe in one of the games right and it was just like oh it's sheriff sheriff koopa and we're in cowboy land oh boy i remember i remember that in the games yeah totally <laughs> remember when bowser wore spurs there you right, go remember? <laughs> remember when we were assless chaps do you remember that <laughs> yeah that was uh six two i believe uh yeah exactly it was just random yeah it's just like I, and I, I don't know how well stuff like that would do with today. Well, I mean Charlie Brown, obviously. Like, but I mean, it's just would would I would I actually sit through an episode updated with like amazing graphics today in today? Probably not. <laughs> just well, let, that let the past mean. stay in the past. For that, if you do that, you need to kind of revamp some ideas there take it a little bit more serious um the reason why the charlie brown thing works is because they didn't like steer away from what the idea of the characters are and everything they really did i feel in my opinion keep to the nature but that's that's maybe like a a movie review for another time (laughs) now like if if somebody was to say you know what we're gonna remake the super mario brothers movie and have it live action and could you imagine like uh i don't know like it may do like it could do well. John Leguizamo could play Luigi because that guy has not aged <laughs> at all. It's true. It's he true. would never do that again. He's like, no. he'd be like, fuck that. Well, yeah. you know what the funny thing is, is with the with the anniversary, um, they did an somebody did an interview with him and he was praising the shit out of this movie. Like years after he crapped all over it. Mind you, he's probably getting paid to say all this stuff, but he's like, you know, it really wasn't as bad of experience. It's like, no. You're you're you got to be drunk right now, or or Nintendo is paying you to say that it was good because unfortunately it's part of their history now, whether they like it or not. And he's the only one, the only big name left from that movie because Dennis Hopper is not with us, and neither is Bob Hoskins. That's so true. they they needed somebody to like bring this movie up. And I mean, like again, I loved it growing up, and now. Like, I, I just say I like it to make people think that there's something wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to talk works. to this person. This co- guy comes up to me. Hey, how's it going? Oh, Super Mario Brothers is a really good movie. I don't want to fucking talk to you. Go you put That's on video movie. game yeah. conventions? What? What do you know about video games? You thought Super Mario was good. <laughs> so. That's great. Well, is there anything else that we want to talk about? We've got another 10-ish, nine minutes and 30 seconds. Just warning popped up. Okay, so I think we covered most things about the those Nintendo uh, cartoons, but what about uh, the names of the Koopalings? Like, 
it's kind of like weird how you know they didn't call King Koopa Bowser and they didn't call any of the Koopalings by their by well, their no, name. They, they did because Wendy was actually like they had they had all of them, they had Iggy and and uh... yeah, but they didn't call them Wendy or Iggy. It was like Cheatsy and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look. Not not that I don't believe you, but I want to see because maybe you're right. What the heck? No, no, yeah. I don't remember what their. Um, hmm. I don't recall, but I do know that Jay's right because I read that not too long ago. You could validate that, Brad, but I, I saw that not too long I ago. I can't remember. I thought it was a weird them. fact. Was and... Roy, was Roy that's bully or Morton that's bully? I can't remember. They all have different like nicknames. They don't actually have like their names from the. From okay, the so so here we have it. Okay, so you have. Larry, who went as Cheatsy. There you go. Yeah. Roy was Bully. Uh, Wendy was Cootie Pie. Yes. Um, Awful. Morton was Big Mouth. Ludwig was Cookie. Yeah. Uh, Cookie and Lemmy was Hip, and Iggy was Hop. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But does it say why? Like, what was the creative reason for that? It's Is not it marketing some... clearly because it, it's just. No, no, Cootsie uh, Pie will sell way more than Wendy this year. The TV series entered production before official names were given in the development process. Uh, so, they, they, so yeah, they had just decided to name these characters before they were actually given names. So Cootie they're not Pie. like they're not good names, obviously. No. But like, it if you're going into production and putting this show out, and the show takes the liberty of naming them. Why do you think they didn't take that and adapt it to the game, even though they're not great names by any means? Like, don't you think that's a little bizarre? Like the game, someone's going to translate it from the Japanese over, and they took that the liberty of taking all uh, musicians effectively and, and naming them all the names that they did. But like, why wouldn't they at least cascade that part over and be like, okay, well, we kind of want things to jive here. I guess I'm really looking into it too much because like nothing else matches one for one pretty much on any of these shows. So yeah, right. it's just it's really it's weird. Like like why would you like if if you know that they haven't been given official names, why like why would you essentially take that away from Nintendo? Because and maybe that's why like they stopped making shows was because all these creative ideas are horrible. Like again, going back to the Mario Brothers movie. Nintendo didn't really have a say in, in how that was handled. Well, uh, I think there wasn't a fourth season of the Mario cartoon because uh, NBC stopped doing Saturday morning cartoons. The guy who was running it said that cartoons were crap and they were just like marketing and advertising crap for kids. So he stopped doing cartoons on Saturday and focused more on like the Say by the Bell kind of stuff and shows like that. Hoop Dreams, all that stuff. Interesting. I, and I, that's I, where that that's is. where that cartoon was for two seasons with Mario Brothers three and Mario World. Okay, that would actually make more sense. Yeah, they really push for all that young adult stuff. Like like you said, they had Saved by the Bell, they had Hoop Dreams, they had like all those other high school based, you know, fun dramas. And again, they were probably I don't know for fact, but they were probably a little bit cheaper to produce just getting a set and real people there as opposed to animation teams and deadlines and stuff like that. Yeah, you could probably uh, look that up. I remember that that was a thing. Um, I remember like tuning in because I remember because I used to was always excited. I'd tune into ABC, CBS, NBC to see what all their lineups were. And uh, I remember tuning in the NBC and they didn't have it anymore. They didn't have any more cartoons. I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I heard that in the news or someone told me that. I don't remember. Uh, but I was like, and then I remember reading it later. I'm like, oh, so I guess it's true. Yeah, I guess they, they did do that. Hmm. So maybe just because they didn't have like a network to put it on, you know, plus there wasn't like a follow up to Mario World. It wasn't Mario World 2 or anything like that. So maybe they just didn't have any product to push. So, and like you said, maybe a lot of bad creative ideas. So who knows? Maybe various, various reasons. Yeah. Now, uh, it's... Sorry, go ahead, Brett. No, no. I was just, I was more agreeing than anything. So. Well, I was just going to say of the, th like Jay, you've seen the three shows mentioned today, like Legend of Zelda, the Mario and Captain N. Which of I've the three seen... do you think is best? I seen one episode of the Legend of Zelda one. I didn't see like a lot of those episodes. Um, 
I know, like, Lane got pretty annoying with the excuse me. Um, and I got, Every I got episode. old pretty fast. Like, honestly, when I was younger, I tuned in more for the Mario stuff because I liked, I think I Same. first saw this, I first saw the Mario Brothers 3 cartoon and I liked when they used the sound effects for the games. I thought that was really cool or the music from the games as their background. So it made you really feel like you're kind of like in the world. Uh, then they would take you out of it by saying one of the Koopaling's names. And you're like, oh, yeah, there's that crap again. <laughs> and then, but, you know, they have these moments where a lot of episodes break down into like this music montage where they're like running through a level seemingly. And they get they show all the bad guys from the games. And you're like, oh, it's that guy. Oh, it's that guy. So for me, I think Mario Brothers 3, Mario World kind of followed in that style. But Mario Brothers 3 was just better than that one. So I think that might have been the best one. Yeah, it's the okay. same for me. And for all of the uh, mentioned reasons, I'm just going to, I'm going to copy all of Jay's answers. Oh, sure. Copy, paste. Sure. <laughs> well, it's valid. I mean, like you said, when they get a coin, when he breaks a brick, like they jump, like a lot of that stuff was all there. And uh, I know Captain N, that was one thing they did bring a lot of the sound effects over. And even uh, like Brad, you had that list there. They're showing the different levels they go to, but there is also a listing of a lot of the effects, the music they brought in, like they did music from Mario 2, things like that. They really didn't bring in any of the Mario characters. He references when he goes through a portal, a warp. He says, Oh, you mean like warp level four of Mario or whatever he said? But he, uh, that was about the the brunt of it for whatever reason. And probably that would have been something to bring a little more star power there. But I don't know why mm. Nintendo was so far in and yet keep keeping that one. Yeah. And that's what I mean by miss potential. Because I thought that would have been a great episode because the fact that he teamed up with Link was cool enough. I'm like, oh, I teamed up with Link. This is awesome. You know, and then uh, so, you know, they so they could have done something with mario which they easily could have done but maybe they, for some reason they want to keep those properties separate uh, i guess one was goofier and one was more a little bit more action paced but still kind of a little bit silly at the same time i don't know why they could, kept have, been, them could have been the kid really demographic good. even like think about like a, an episode where he uses like the super scope and like a super nintendo controller where he has extra buttons like whoa he's super captain n now like that yeah. would have been good or what about an episode where he takes on Captain S, who's like a, the master of Sega games, and he had that. <laughs> yeah, there's just so much untapped stuff that that like won't ever get seen now. But yeah, I, I thought there was lots of great ideas there, and now I threw them out into the internet, and someone's gonna steal them. Yeah, that's and right. That's what, it's gonna be in the Captain N movie now. The Super yeah. Captain N, Captain yeah. S. All you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go on Judge Judy to get your money. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, I think we've hit home all the points uh, that like, we, we beat to death this stuff and uh, it's fun. So uh, it's, uh, it's always fun getting you guys on and uh, definitely do this again. And I appreciate you guys for coming on and.